In 1811, an earthquake so violent hit America that it made the Mississippi River flow backward and rang church bells a thousand miles away in Boston. This wasn't California. This was the middle of the country, and it remains one of the most powerful seismic events in North American history. On December 16, 1811, the first massive quake struck near New Madrid, Missouri at 2 a.m., waking settlers across the frontier. Eyewitnesses reported the ground rolling in visible waves, trees snapping like twigs, and the earth opening in deep fissures. Two months later, on February 7, 1812, the strongest quake hit, estimated at magnitude 7.5 to 8.0. The shaking was so intense that the Mississippi River temporarily reversed course, creating waterfalls and flooding upstream. It formed Real Foot Lake in Tennessee overnight, a lake that still exists today as a permanent scar from the quake. In Charleston, South Carolina, clocks stopped. In Washington, D.C., President Madison felt his house shake. And in Boston, over a thousand miles away, church bells rang on their own from the vibrations traveling through the earth. Scientists estimate the quakes were felt across one million square miles, nearly one-third of the entire United States. If a quake of that magnitude hit the new Madrid Fault today, it would affect millions in Memphis, St. Louis, and beyond. History has warnings we can't ignore. If this story opened your eyes, please like this video. It helps us keep sharing the truth.